Good morning. Uh, so you have noticed probably that your math choice board has changed again. This week we're going to be focusing on multiplication. Uh, and today, specifically, I'm going to be doing an um, uh, example on multiplicative uh, comparison statements. One of your, a couple of your boxes, I'm looking at the green uh, math choice board. It's like a yellowish, greenish color. Uh, have multiplicative comparison questions for you to be fill answering. And the one I'm going to be talking about today is create a matching quiz that includes matching multiplication equations with their matching multiplicative comparison statements. So let's talk about what are those. Uh, so if I were to be doing a multiplicative comparison statement matching quiz game, I'd probably do two different columns. Uh, I would put the multiplicative comparison on one side. Multiplicative comparison. And then I'd have a column of those. And then I would have the multiplication state a sentence on the other side. All right. And then you would just have to go and choose between the, the two of them. So multiplicate a multiplicative comparison is where you're saying something like, um, my mom is three times as... Uh, fast as I am, or my dad is twice as tall as I am, um, or my mom has read five times as many books as I have. Um, so you would write this out. Let's just do a, a one example really quick. Um, so you can put um, my uh, dad eats four times as much um, food as I do. And you have to put obviously what you are. So I eat three hamburgers. All right, so we have to figure out, well, how many hamburgers does dad eat? Well, if dad eats four times as much food, so that means that's going to be four times. And I can eat three hamburgers. It means that I'm going to put a D here, uh, a variable for how much dad can eat. Dad can eat four times as much as I can eat, which means that dad must be able to eat 12 hamburgers. All right, does that kind of make sense? Let's do another one. Um, or you could say... Um, uh, my mom has read three times as many books as I have this year. And you have to have how many books I've read. I've read, I have read 12 books. Okay, so if we're taking, okay, mom's read three times, so we'll put three times. And I've read 12, so three times what I've read, which is 12, equals what mom has read. I'll put an, a variable M here for mom. So if we do the math, 12 times 3 is 36, which means mom has read 36 books so far this year. Um, so let's do, and if I were to do this, I probably would not do them exactly across from each other because it's a matching game, right? You want to do them all in different orders, so that way you have to like, you know, draw the line up and draw the line down. You guys have done matching games before. So we'll, we'll do a couple of these. I'll just do a couple and put them all in different orders. Um, let's see. So I'll put um, a couple over here. Let's see. I'll just I'll, maybe I'll do the math first. Um, let's see. Uh, seven times four equals, and I'll do uh, 
8 times 5, and I'll do another one. Um, you would probably want to do 4, 5, 6 maybe, but I'm running out of space on my whiteboard. Um, and 10 times 6. Okay, so now I have to come up with a multiplication, a multiplicative comparison for each of these, but I'm not going to put them in the same order that I have them over here because that wouldn't be fun matching them. Let's see, so instead I'll do, maybe I'll do 7 equals, or 7 times 4 in the middle over here. Um, let's see. Uh, what's a good one? Um, see, I've got to do 7 and 4. Uh, Patrick can run... seven times as far as I can. I ran four miles. So that would be seven times and then four miles. So that's one. And notice how I would have to draw the line across. It wouldn't be exact. Uh, and then let's see, what's another one? Maybe I'd even put like a little spot here and like a little space so you could draw the arrow over. Let's see, uh, 10 times 6. I'm going to do that one right here on top. So that's across here. 10 times 6. Um, how about Grandma? We'll go from a year down yonder. Grandma. Um, uh, has six times as many pumpkins, pumpkin pies, as Mary Alice, who has ten. All right, so I did six times right there for my times six, and she has ten. All right, so it would be six times ten. And the last one here, we've got eight times five. It would be a good eight times five. Um, let's see. There were eight clouds clouds. Can you guys see that all right? In the sky yesterday. There are five times that night today. Times as many. All right, so I did my, my eight clouds and five times as many, which would be five times eight. And then if someone were going to have to solve this, uh, they would have to draw the line between, they would have to read up, ah, eight clouds five times. That one goes here, which equals 40. Don't forget to solve. Uh, then I would say, uh, Patrick can run seven times. As far as I can run, I can run four miles out. That must, must be over here, which means Patrick can run 28 miles equals 40 clouds. And then Grandma has six times as many pumpkin pies as Mary Alice, who has 10. Well, that one must be six times 10. And that would be 60 for 60 pies. All right, so you need to do um, a matching game with this. I would suggest maybe somewhere between 5 and 10 would be a good number. Um, and then maybe you can have someone in your house solve it today, mom or dad or a brother or sister. Um, or maybe you could have someone else give you one and you could solve like back and forth. Um, so have fun with these. And these can be really anything. I just came up with random ones. You can come up with ones that are actually true, like one about my mom and my books. The mama, my mom and the books was actually true, or you can come up with some ridiculous ones like Sierra ate 12 ice cream cones, but Caesar can eat 50 times as many. 
how many ice cream cones can Caesar eat? So you can make some ridiculous if you want to. Have some fun with it.